The purpose of this video is to help you analyze a mixed cost using Excel. What you have in front of you are some data points. If you were to produce 4 million units, X, it would cost a total of $10 million. If you were to produce a half a million units, it would cost $3 million. So these data points come from historical data within your company. What we want to now do is create a scatter graph of each of these points plotted on the scatter graph and then fit a line through those points which would be our linear regression line that is the best fit. That line would then be used to create the formula for the line which is our y equals a plus bx which is our total cost formula. Let's go ahead and do it. First thing, make sure your x data points are in your first column and your y data points, which is your cost, in the second. So we have activity, and we have cost. Highlight all your data points. Go up to your menu, choose insert, insert ribbon, and charts subgroup, and click on scatter graph in the top left. What we now have is a very quick scatter graph of the data points in this data. Now what we want to do is, with that chosen, with the graph chosen, go up to the top left, you see we're in design, top left, and choose Add Chart Element. We want to add a trend line, and we want it to be a linear regression line. What that means is that if you were to compute the distance between the plotted point and the regression line, and square it, and do that for each of these points, this line is the one that would result in the smallest number. This is the least squares regression as compared to any other line through those points. If we were to then create a formula that models this line, it would be in the format of y total cost equals a fixed cost where it hits the intercept here plus bx, which is the slope, b being the variable cost per unit and x being the number of units. Since Excel has already done the work, let's have it show that work to us. Click the trend line, right click it, choose format trend line, and on the bottom right, display equation on chart. This is now the equation for the line. y equals a, which they've put in a different order than we teach in this class, that's your fixed cost, that's where this line would hit the intercept at zero units produced, plus B, which is the slope, X, which is your activity. So I could predict at 2.5 million, if I were to put 2.5 in here for X, that would be our total variable cost, plus the 1.61 fixed cost, and I would land 2.5, just a little bit over 6, almost 7 is what it appears. Let's test that idea. So here's the formula, 2.0561, that's the variable cost per unit, times the variable cost per unit. I should have done this, put it as a multiply that way, plus the fixed cost and, see that? If I were to plot that point, it would be right here, and that would be 6.75. And what we've done, just done is found the best description of this line through these plotted points. I hope this helps. Good luck.